Hey everyone, so today I wanted to do a quick video on brand metrics and Amazon's new search query report and how both of these tie in to better understanding your brand and how your brand compares to your category on both the search term level and the overall category level. Now, one thing to note is this is a pretty new report and capabilities are pretty limited in terms of how you can export the data and manipulate the data. And we really haven't dove in too much as an agency, but I spent a lot of time diving in on a personal level. And for those of you who have followed me for a bit, you know, I don't get too crazy analytical. Instead, I like figuring out how you can use a report to make really quick decisions and just better understand how to look at everything you're doing on Amazon. So how I use both of these to understand all of the brands that we are looking at. So starting with search query, if you go under brands within your seller central, you'll see brand analytics, and then you will see two of our new search analytics dashboards are live. You will have to click on view search analytics. One thing that's super cool about this report is it's giving you the data on the search term level. So this is something that we have hoped for forever. A limitation of the report is that it is not on the ASIN level. So if you sell five different versions of purple pin, you're going to have to make assumptions of the data and you're not going to be able to say, Hey, my hero ASIN is performing like this versus my newly launched ASIN is performing like this. Uh, what the report looks like at a macro level is something like this. You have impressions, clicks, car ads, purchases. You have a few different columns you can add and take away from here and then all of the search queries for everything within your catalog. What's really, really cool is how we can better view this data. They give you total count versus brand count versus brand share, and all of the definitions are within this little link. You can click on the little blue question mark and it'll give you better definitions of all of the reports. Again, this is amazing and even though it may be limited as of right now, you have to remember this is a new beta rollout and it's showing the possibilities of where Amazon wants to go with this. And I think the biggest picture thing is Amazon knows things are getting more competitive. The landscape's changing quite a bit. And if people are going to continue to spend money on Amazon ads at the same pace that they have in the last three years, they're going to start needing to see more data. We're going to have to be able to paint the picture better of why I should take a loss on this search term versus this search term, things like that. So, one of the things I think I'm most excited for is to be able to see, Hey, if I spend a ton of money on this search term, does my brand share increase? That's really where we're going to start painting a better picture with tacos and ranking and all of these things. But to really give more specifics on what this looks like, let's dive into step-by-step -step use brand metrics plus search query. All right. So for a singular brand, I went ahead and dove into our brand metrics reports. I prefer to search within the categories brand metrics gives you, cause it'll show you a lot more granular categories than what they recommend for this brand. They pulled up kitchen utensils and gadgets, which is fantastic, but that's a wide array of products. I was only concerned with this singular ASIN, which was a cheese slicer. So I typed in cheese and I see that one of the given categories is a cheese slicer. So I open up brand metrics and I see that my category average is 21%. My brand is converting across organic and ads at a 32.29%. So a few things to note, I like pulling uh, last month. So I see a better view of our data. And in this case, category top is not being pulled. I probably am pulling too small of an audience, but this brand metrics allows me to see, Hey, I'm converting much better than the average within my category. So I should probably invest a ton in ads in order to get my organic ranking up. If I'm already in the top four, then that's going to be a different strategy. But brand metrics is a good tell of whether or not you should invest more in ads. If I were to pull this and see, Hey, I'm converting 10% less than category average, then I probably don't want to drive more traffic because I'm just going to lose money. If that traffic doesn't convert with Amazon ads, we don't control conversion rate. We're just driving traffic. So if your ads are not converting, it's typically a listing problem, potentially a bad targeting problem as well. But so kind of holistically, we can see that for the cheese slicer category, the average conversion rate is 21%. 
But for my brand in the cheese slicer category, my conversion rate is 32.29%. That is a good indicator and good signal of wanting to move forward. So fantastic category level data, green light, great. Now moving on to search query, I pulled the exact same data and the first thing I wanna see is, hey, how is my category converting for this search term? So what I did is all I did is total count, uh, purchases divided by total count clicks. And I can see that on the search term level, the category average is 13.2%. Fantastic. Now I take that exact same data and I looked at it on the brand count. So how is my brand converting? So exact same thing, purchases divided by clicks. I can see that for the search term cheese slicer, my conversion rate is 18.5%. So again, much higher than what the category is. I can then put that data together, compare it, make sure I'm in a much better position. And then when I take these two assets, it shows me, hey, my conversion rate is a lot better than what the average in the category is. So green light, continue to push traffic. If your PPC is you know, not performing well, this is another indicator. Let's look at how my product's doing organically. If I'm converting a lot less than category on the search term level or the category level data, then again, it's probably an organic problem, not necessarily a PPC problem. But if I hopped in here and saw, hey, my averages are a lot higher, I'm looking pretty good, then why is my PPC not performing well? Then we're gonna look at CPCs and conversion rates across the board and maybe I have poor targets. Maybe I'm only bidding on auto campaigns or terms that are way too top of the funnel. So this is a holistic view of how I've been using both of these reports. I think the future of the reports are gonna be able to pull the data so we can track you know, week over week, month over month, and then make PPC adjustments. For example, if I use that brand share data and say, hey, my cheese slicer brand share has decreased by 10%, what's going on, I can then go into my ads and increase my ads almost immediately to make sure my organic ranking is improving. And I know my organic rank will probably improve because I have such a strong conversion rate that Amazon wants to see that product in front of the right customers. So those kind of the future expectations of this data, hopefully being able to get a little bit more ASIN insights as well, but super, super excited for this. I recommend everyone dive into this report and really just pull the data instead of feeling biased about how your product's performing, Amazon's now giving us that data. So um, other small callouts is on the search term level, you happen to see that your conversion rate was terrible for one of your top search terms, dive into your listing. How can you fix your SEO? How can you change your imagery and really tell the story so that way your number one search term is gonna drive a much higher conversion, so. Yep, let me know if anyone has any questions. Super excited about both of these reports and thank you so much. See ya.